If you love using Midjourney to illustrate stories or comics, today's video is for you. We're exploring the character reference parameter and how it can revolutionize the way you create consistent characters across multiple images. Midjourney's storytelling capabilities took a leap forward with the introduction of the character reference parameter. This tool functions similarly to the style reference parameter. While SREF helps capture a particular artistic style, CREF hones in on the character itself. Character reference, or CREF, is a form of image prompt, but it focuses on the character's physical traits. When you use the CREF parameter, you point Midjourney to an image and say, my character looks like this. CREF is perfect for graphic novels, storybook illustrations, or any project where you need the same character to appear over and over again. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say I want to create an anime-inspired story about a teen with spiky pink hair. With CREF, I can keep the look consistent, even if I change the outfit, or setting, or what they're doing in the image. Start by creating an image that best shows off your character's features. Their clothes, their hair, and whatever makes your character distinctive. Make sure your character is the main feature of the image, but it doesn't need to be a clean background. If you're watching this video, you probably already have a character in mind, but if you want, use ChatTPT or Claude to translate your character design ideas into detailed textual prompts for Midjourney using this tool. CREF works best with humanoid characters created in Midjourney, but it will work on non-human characters and with characters you found or drawn yourself. I'll talk about these later in the video. To use the character reference parameter, type dash dash C ref at the end of your prompt, followed by the URL of an image that shows off your character. If you don't have a URL, in Discord, drag your inspiration image into Discord and click Return. Now open the image, right click and copy the URL and paste it into the message bar. If you created your character reference on the Midjourney website, select it and choose either the image or the style button next to the use tool. The image is added to your prompt as an image prompt. Currently, the website distinguishes image prompts, style references, and character references with a small icon on the image. Choose the icon of a person to designate the image as a CREF. You can also upload an image by dragging it into the prompt bar or type dash dash CREF after your prompt and paste in a URL. If you've already uploaded an image to the website and you want to use it as a character reference, simply click the plus sign in the prompt bar and choose the image you want to use. Change the icon to switch it to a character reference. Now let's move your character through a story. In your new prompt, add a few key descriptors of your character and what you want your character to be doing. Character reference works better if you direct Midjourney's attention to key character features and artistic style. If I don't specify a style, my anime character could end up in a photograph. Midjourney has a couple of tools to help you focus on key characteristics. If you're working in Discord, use the slash describe tool. Type slash describe in the message bar. Select image or link if you have a URL image address. Drag in a reference image of your character into Discord and click return. You'll get four prompts that include key features of your character. Choose your favorite descriptions from the prompt. The Midjourney website also has a describe tool, but it functions a bit differently. Drag the image into the prompt bar and click the plus sign to open the image panel. 
Under the character reference image, choose the eye icon. Midjourney analyzes the image and gives you a list of suggested elements and descriptors. The suggestions may include specific attributes like pink hair or colorful jacket or broader artistic styles. Select the best ones for your image. Describing key characteristics of the artistic style in your prompt ensures that Midjourney zeroes in on the most essential visual elements of your reference image. This lets you create new images that accurately capture your character's defining traits and style. But remember, CREF isn't a face swap tool. It's a reference tool. You aren't going to be able to just pop in an image and map your character directly into a new image. Midjourney is creating something new each time. There will be some differences. And don't forget, you can use an image as both a CREF and an SREF. Both style reference and character reference are types of image prompts, but they focus on different elements of the image. A regular image prompt, placed at the start of your prompt, focuses mainly on composition, the way elements are laid out in your image, and to a lesser extent, color and style. Style reference specifically looks to capture the style, the look of the image, and to a lesser extent, the details of the character. Is it photographic, anime, a storybook illustration? For more on the SREF parameter, see this video. Character reference focuses on the primary character of the image, trying to make features of this character similar in each render. You can use SREF and CREF together, but you will need to add a bit of text to your prompt. It's not possible to blend reference images without at least some text. For instance, try describing what you like about the images, or change the subject. If you have two or more characters in your image, it's a little bit trickier to use character reference. But the character reference parameter can work. Make sure to describe both the characters' distinctive features and their interaction. Also, Midjourney will take multiple character references. Add two image links separated by space. This is for combining multiple images or multiple image traits into one character. If you're watching this video, you're probably illustrating a story, and stories take skills to develop. Skillshare, the sponsor of this video, has all the tools you need to help take a vague idea and bring it to life. One of my favorite courses is Storytelling 101, Character, Conflict, Context, and Craft. In this short course, Daniel Jose Older takes you through all the steps in creating interesting characters, developing conflict in your story, and building a world for your characters to live in. It doesn't matter what type of story you're writing, this course will help you key in on what makes stories interesting. There are dozens of classes on storytelling and character creation on Skillshare, and more specific classes on creating graphic novels or children's books. And Skillshare has classes on all sorts of topics, photography, graphic design, business, and marketing. Skillshare is offering the first 500 of my viewers to sign up a one month free trial. Just click the link in the description to start your journey. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check out the link for your free trial. Character reference works best with humanoid characters in Midjourney, but you can use it on non-humanoid characters and non-Midjourney characters. Results might be a little bit unpredictable, but it does work. Let's take this little cute mouse character I found online. Add a little description and my mouse but knows that this tool cheese. is not designed for photos of real people and will likely distort them. And there is one more tool you should know about that goes along with character reference. It's called character weight. Character weight or dash dash CW works on a scale from 0 to 100, but it works a little bit differently from style weight. Unlike style weights or image weights, character weights have specific functions. For instance, dash dash CW100, which is the default, looks at the character's face, hair, and clothes. But you might not want Midjourney to look at the entire character. Maybe you want your character to change outfits. To focus only on the character's face, 
use CW0. You can prompt along the scale from 0 to 100, but it's unclear how much refinement you can direct in each character prompt. Character reference is a game-changing tool if you're trying to create consistent characters in a story. But you are still going to have to work at it a bit. The tool isn't flawless. Plan to do a lot of rerolls and make a lot of variations. But the character reference parameter makes consistent characters a whole lot easier. Share your favorite characters and let us know how character reference is helping you bring your stories to life. If this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together.